Hi, this is Rick Kearney at Earl Stewart Toyota, and we're talking about cars. Okay, you're driving down the road, and suddenly a light comes on on the dash. It might be in the shape of a battery, it might say ALT, or possibly even charging system, or on some of the older cars, maybe even GEN or generator. What happened? Well, your charging system has an issue. Everybody knows gasoline runs your car. But, you've also got an electrical system, a nice big battery, an alternator to help recharge that battery, and the alternator also supplies all the power to run everything electrical in the car. Now the alternator is run by a belt right off the front of your motor. But a lot of people kind of wonder, how's this thing work? What's it actually doing? And why is it so very important for this vehicle to have such a powerful alternator? Well, first thing is, picture your battery as being a giant bucket of water. And when you first turn the key to start the engine, that starter motor takes a big scoop of water out of that bucket. The alternator has to refill that bucket. It takes it a few minutes to do it. So a good, strong alternator is very important for that. But at the same time, it's providing the electricity to run the engine, the spark for the engine, the power for all the computers, all the lights, the horn, the radio, the blower fans, anything electrical, once that engine is running, the alternator provides power for it. Now with our modern systems, with computerization, alternators actually produce AC current and convert it to a DC current that can then be used to recharge the battery and run the entire electrical system on your car. Now if you think the alternator has an issue, there is a quick check you can do. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, you might have a digital volt ohm meter already. If not, you can pick one up at the local auto parts supply stores, sometimes for as low as about $10. It doesn't need to be a fancy one, as long as it works, it'll do the job. Just connect the terminals onto the positive and negative terminals of your battery. The battery should be ranging somewhere about 12 and a half volts. Then start the engine and check it again. If the voltage goes up to around 14 volts, you know your alternator is producing voltage to recharge that battery and to power the car. A couple other quick checks that you can do yourself. Take a look at the drive belt. If that belt happens to break or fly off, that will definitely shut down your charging system. If you see the light on the dash, look for the belt first. Then have your car inspected by a mechanic or someone that knows what they're doing to make sure that you're not going to get taken advantage of when you do wind up at a repair shop. If you think your alternator is getting weak, you can also do such things as turn on the loads in the car. Now what I mean by that is turn on the radio, the windshield wipers, the fan switch for the AC control so that the blower motor is blowing nice and hard, headlights, anything that's going to use electrical power. Then kind of watch those headlights. If your headlights seem to brighten up when you give it some gas, it could mean that the alternator is getting weak at those lower speeds and it's time to have it evaluated. An older alternator could leave you stranded alongside the road. Not a pretty picture.